Hi, you're me again. Um, tonight we're going to do a back to basics recipe, so we're going to do some coleslaw. Um, I've got to make it for tea anyway, so I thought I might as well record it. Um, it's not going to be a very long one, hopefully, so we'll try and follow along and see how we get on. So for this one we're going to need some white cabbage, red cabbage, onion, carrots, some mayo, uh, salt and pepper for this. So I'll just start by getting this all prepared and I'll show you the steps along the way. First things first is you're going to need to peel the outer leaves off so I've already done that. And um, then what we're going to need to do is cut him straight down the middle. So let's see if we can do it with my knife. So it's incredibly tough to cut through the core at the bottom. So this is what I'm just having the issues with at the moment. There we go. So that's that in half. You're going to need it in half again. So we'll get him flipped over and get him done this way. And that's one. Push them over there. And that's two. Next thing you're going to need to do is get the core out. So I've already got one of them out. So we just follow that line and we get that out. So it's not very nice and it's quite bitter. So we'll get that chopped out of all four and then we'll start getting it sliced. So that's all four parts done. So what we're going to need to do is now we're going to need to get this very thinly sliced. So I'll come back to this once I've showed you how to do it. So this is how much I've ended up with. It has filled nearly a full litre bowl um, with <laughs> all of that. So I should have bought some smaller ones. But hey-ho, if you're feeding a lot, lot of people, then that makes sense. We'll do the next thing with the red cabbage and then we'll move on to the onions and the carrots. So that's your red cabbage added in. Um, that was just a smaller one. Um, so we'll just get this mixed in and then we can get the onions and the carrots chopped then. Next thing we're going to do is slice a couple of onions. So I've just topped and tailed these and we'll get these sliced really thinly. Well, as thinly as you want, really. I'm just trying to get it as thin as possible. And then I will show you once I've done a couple more. So in the bowl now we've got two onions. So we've got a little one and a big one. Um, just because of taste and not really leaving the little one out because the other two are quite big in the bag so i thought i might as well do the little one and the big one and obviously jake asked me well jake advised me to put an, a little one in or half of one and i found the little one in the bag so i didn't want him to be lonely so i chucked him in as well um next thing i want to do is grate some carrots and um, i'm going to give them a quick top and tail um, and i'll show you once i've done that just to let you guys as well know as well, and um, there is no real science or recipe that you really need to go by or weights. I'm just kind of winging it. Um, so I'm going to start with six and see how I get on. So it's just a case of doing them on the big side here. Just be careful when you're doing it and don't slice your fingers. And I'll come back to you once I've added them and see, tell you whether I need more or less or whether I'm going to add anything else. We'll, we'll wing it that way. So the next thing is to add some salt and pepper. So let's get that in. Good sprinkle of salt. Oh yeah, I did add six carrots in the end, just to let you guys know. Good grind of that pepper. And now we're going to add our mayo. Has it got a lid on it? Yes, it has. So let's see how far we get with this. So I'm going to add, I don't know, a few squirts. So it's always do better to do less mayo than it is to do too much. So we'll see how we get on with this and then I'll come back to you and let you know how much is I've used. So this is literally it finished. Um, yeah, I know it looks not as mayo-y as others, but I don't want it to be as mayo-y as others. I mean, if you do want it absolutely saturated, then you go ahead and you do you. Um, I did use about three quarters, probably a little bit more of the bottle I had, and that was 450 grams. Um, so it's totally up to you if you want to use vegan mayo or if you want to use low-fat mayo, then go ahead. Or if you want to use a spicy one, then cool. 
um but yeah that's pretty much me done so it's a simple one and it's taken me like an hour to do but that's because i'm recording um but yeah if you like this video guys go like it and subscribe and i'll see you all you lovely people in the next episode see you later just as a little closing note as well guys um in terms of storing the coleslaw that can store probably say a week um if you, you it's ideal to use it as soon as possible just because it will keep everything as crunchy um if you just do the veg then it can last up to a couple of weeks but then as soon as you add the mayo that's when it starts to wilt and get a bit soggy so yeah as soon as you can eat it <laughs>